Hello YouTube, today I'm doing the top 10 films from the 90s. Number 10 is Toy Story. Toy Story at the day was really good because the graphics, Pixar, computers was getting good. And um, my child watching this on video, I mean that was pretty good. And having toys, like I wish my toys could talk. But they couldn't. I wish they could. But um, the good characters, and I never had none of the toys. But I had a friend what did, and he used to talk to him all the time. Thought he was weird. Oh. Up next is number nine, and it is Jurassic Park. Again, a more of a great film in the nineties for technology, for the graphics, and to see well good dinosaurs. Hey. Pretty scary for, scary for kids and watching it in the pictures to see a T-Rex eat someone out of a car. Wow. For people that love dinosaurs, this was the film of the day. And it's coming again, a new one this year, 2015. Um, I don't know what it's going to be, but it was good in the day. This was high tech of the day in the 90s. Next is number 8, and it is The Lion King. But Lion King is such a good film as well. It's about animals, of course. Mm -hmm. um, another good film for the the day because the music, the acting, and the moment we are just laughing about the part where Zazu is singing about I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, what's played by Rowan Atkinson. Um, pretty good sad part of the movie, the... Main one of the main characters get killed, and that's one of the first I know of a Walt Disney doing that. And it won so many Oscars, and it's been so well recently. Now they're doing plays about it in the ice and things. Number seven is Home Alone. Uh, something I'd have wished I was a kid and I was alone. I mean, it's such a wacky film. It's something like a kid would dream of to be on their own and build traps and stuff and try and get bad guys at the house. It just gives you that sense of thing is I wish I could do that, but you're never going to happen if you did. The government would be on to you, the police would be after your parents for doing that. And he did really good playing the, the character Kevin did. He really did play the good part for, him, for that. Um, well, I mean, later on they did number two and then they did number three and four, but it wasn't the same character, so he didn't do good after that. And the first two original ones were really good. Here's number six, and it is Aladdin. Well, I'm of a good rate for him today. It is. It makes a day with the genie because he does so many stupid things. And there's even a scene in it where he's actually in one, I think it's number two or number, number one or number two, he's actually doing a scene from Forrest Gump. I mean, it's sad, sadly he's passed away, um, Robert Williams. Robert Williams has sadly passed away last year, so this is a good film and it really good, cracks you up as a film. I mean, there's been Aladdin films in the past, black and white cartoons and things and proper movies and things but this is for Walt Disney and because of it genie the character he is and plays his wacky dressing up by different people it's really good number five is the Titanic we were saying that the Titanic it's a true story that's the thing it's I like the film because it's you sit there for three and a half hours and literally for watching this the best part of the films are to my opinion most people watch it just because the scene where Rosie's naked and being drawn by Jack and the most memorable moment is when Jack is at the front of the boat and they <laughs> singing the song and our music is really good in the day um, and you can sit there for hours and watch and literally you do I mean there's funny parts of sexual moments there's truth about it.
Number four is Men in Black, with a good film. It is, it's a good black comedy. It's got black humour in it, and it's got aliens, of course. It's Will Smith, famous for a certain other program in the day. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Bel Air. I mean, music. The music was everywhere. Man in Black. You know, the music, it was brilliant. It was all over the place in the, name, in the 90s. The music was. It was a really good film. It was, it was a laugh. You could laugh at it. It was com lots of comedy in it. And... Number three is Nutty Professor. A brilliant actor. It's black comedy at the best, and one thing is, there's only one character playing the all of them. He plays them all, and he plays them brilliant. And he's 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 switching from one costume to the other for the film. It's funny. It's, I mean, he plays himself for a while in the thin version of himself. It is brilliant. I think it's just one of them films that there should have been a mother, mo at least mother three of them, as well as the set number two. Number two is Austin Powers. What can I say about Austin Powers? Groovy baby. Oh, I mean, so I mean, he's another one that plays him. He plays all the characters again. I mean, he's not as good as the Nutty Professor in a way because you don't see him in the same picture. You see Austin, and you see Doctor Evil, and may I say, Fat Bastard. The Fat Bastard wasn't in this one, but he was in number two. And I didn't watch this when I was very young. Well, I, wasn't, I mean, too many years back. Because I thought it was a really dirty, sexual film. I mean, it is early, but not in a dirty way. Um, it's something you can laugh at. And some of the technology in the 90s, from going into the 70s, traveling through time and space. And being a sex appeal, I don't know. I can't see what the theme is a sex appeal, really. My opinion. And number one, at first place is, you guess, probably not guessed it, is Forrest Gum. What can I say about Forrest Gum? Life is like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you can get, and that's true. It's just brilliant because he's just sitting on a bench, telling about his life story. Wait, and some the there's very good high good music in it, and every person he sort of meets they die, really do. Like Bubba, he's one of my famous. We love about Bubba because he's so funny. Reminds me of somebody I know called Kieran Wright, and um, as I say, everyone he meets snuffs it in some way. When he, I mean, he's a good actor. He really plays a good part. And he's stupid. I mean, I'm stupid. Stupid as a stupid B, whatever they said. I mean, it's a brilliant film. It's. I'm even going to think of getting a bubble shrimp hat because I like it so much. And this is another good film. What's done for three and a half hours as well. And it's on TV most most already times because it's such a good film. It is. And that's why I say number one for it because it's that good. It deserves number one place in our because we, we talk about it quite a lot in my, me and Adam do so that's number one see you soon and the pictures we used in this video is not belonging to us so whatever the original owners that goes to there you know they, they own the pictures not us so thanks to the original owners to the pictures and the movies thank you for letting us use them in a sense <laughs>